Ask the Expert. Hello, and welcome to Ask the Expert, where we have one expert, and we start with one question, and we go from there. This is a live broadcast, so we encourage you to participate by putting your own questions or comments in the chat in YouTube or in the comments section that's linked on the blog from learning.sap.com. Today's topic is integration in the context of SAP Business Technology Platform. And our expert is SAP Technology Evangelist, Christian Michelle. So welcome, Christian. Hi, Lorna. Thanks so much for having me. It's great to have you here to talk about this important topic for people. So let's get started. I'm going to ask you the first question, and that is, what is integration in the context of SAP BTP? Oh, thanks for that question. It's it's actually one of the most asked questions when we start in projects with companies. And uh, to start with it, uh, to reactivate what is BTP, the business technology platform. So that's, we choose the best technologies, put them together, make them work together and make them accessible for simple use by the business. So if they want to leverage artificial intelligence development, make a mobile app, make an analysis, make self-service data access, all those things, we make this happen quite easily with a business technology platform. And one of the pillars in there is the integration part. And when we talk about integration, it's mainly with a focus on business processes. So we want to make the best integrated HR process, the best integrated procurement, the best experience for the customers and for the employees. And this means many different levels of integration that we could think of. And generally, uh, as there are so many different ways to think about integration, there are two, yeah, main lines of integration. The first is the process integration, where we we connect applications and the users to so if you want to execute an order uh, in your in your computer program you really want it to be handed over to another program and this to another system and this is process integration and the second part of the integration game is all about data integration. So you have stored loads of data in your databases, in data lakes, and the question, how can I connect them? How can I make use of them? How can I make the data accessible to hopefully everyone in the company who wants to make use of this? That's great. So thanks for that explanation of integration. Uh, could you please now outline the challenges for integration projects and what might actually delay them? Yeah, the funny thing about integration is that everybody notices immediately when it doesn't work. <laughs> so if a system has no, if you have no access to an application or to your data, you know it immediately. But until this happens, people tend to think very little about integration. And so the, the heroes, I call them in the, in the companies that are, are so invested in making those things happening, they should be celebrated so much more because they have to handle things like very complex interfaces. Every application has kind of a different way to communicate with it. Then uh, often things have to be done manually. We still see an order coming in and somebody just typing it manually into another system. So there's no integration. You have to do things manually. And uh, lots of things have to be uh, developed. Uh, interfaces, uh, what's actually happening when something is coming in, all those things. And finally, it's a mix of technologies. So And so companies, when they have an integration project, have to handle somehow this mix of interfaces, of technologies, and reduce the effort. And that's, uh, from my point of view, the major challenge for integration. I see. So I guess then the next uh, logical question then is, how does SAP BTP help customers to overcome these challenges? Yeah, the, that's <laughs> thanks for this question. It's really the logical next step. How can I... Um, the, the question is, how can I give guidance? So people are often lost in the, in the many op uh, alternatives you could take, the different technologies. Then how can I accelerate this? We, we have lots of content and things done to make integration faster. Then the, the access to data and to systems 
is often overly complex. And uh, in our integration uh, suite, the SAP integration suite, we have thought a lot about how could we unify access to data so that not every time I want to access the data base number one, I have to type in my credentials and then I have to ask somebody and then data lake number two, I have to credentials, ask the next one. And this is the complexity of access. This is something that we, we handle for them to have a unified access for that. And then there's this complexity of mapping between the messages. So if I, to, to make a, an example from the real work, if I would send a letter to somebody in another country, I have to make sure that they speak the same language. They can read the same, they use the same letters. And uh, we have to make this often sure because many systems today speak in that sense, different languages and use different fonts and typesets. And finally, we, we accelerate a lot by automation to make those things happen. And this is on an abstract level, what we, what we hand in the SAP integration suite and across the whole business technology platform to make those things, uh, yeah, much more attractive. I see. Okay. So I know that you created a graphic, Christian, uh, that you wanted to share uh, related to how to improve integration with SAP BTP. So maybe we can bring that up. And um, could you please speak to what you've laid out here in the graphic? Yeah. Um, it, it's, it's really the result from the many questions we got. And uh, really along the categories I, I just tried to mention abstractly uh, is what what in particular do we offer on the platform? So the first is, I talked about guidance. So how do I communicate across the team and across the company? What is our integration concept? What is our strategy? What is our preferred method for connecting a cloud solution with a mobile application? What is our standard to make those things work together? And we have, um, we have a solution in place. It's called ISAM. It's the Integration Solution Methodology, uh, Advisory Methodology. I cannot say it without That's a tricky one. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and so this is a guideline where you really uh, can define step by step in which situation you would apply which technology to, yeah, to reach which result. And it's also, it comes with a tool where you can also write those things, automate those decisions, have the architectures inside. So that's the first thing, that's the guided choice on this architecture. So that's the bottom of this image to make sure everybody's on the same page. We know those are the available technologies and that is what we want to achieve. And that's what we defined to take now as a solution. And the, the second thing is integration takes time because you have to build adapters. You have to make the end-to-end -end process, many steps. You have to filter, filter. You have to distribute. You have to uh, encrypt. You have to decrypt. All those things you have to, to do. And uh, we, we offer thousands of pre-built integrations, pre-packaged to take all this work for thousands of standard situations out of this uh, this game. So you can immediately start with it to accelerate this kind of integration. That's the second thing. <laughs> the third, uh, now, now I know the technologies, I could automatically use them. And now still the question, how do I handle the access to calling the applications and the services that we did? And this means we want to unify those access and we have different components there. SAP Graph to have a unified access to the different endpoints and a catalog via our API management tool and uh, one point to access all the APIs of different cloud solutions and services uh, via our open connectors interfaces. That's the third thing. So at this point, I know the technologies, we agreed on everything, we accelerated it, we have a unified access, and now we sent actually orders and all the, all the messages and e-documents along the system. And on the document level, we again have a certain degree of complexity because in, in one company, they might name the field number four as customer and the other company might name the field number six 
a client and but they are meant to be the same thing and now you need something a system to translate this today many do this manually we have machine learning driven automation in there so you get proposals this is most probably this field that needs to be connected with there and this is the integration advisor that's coming with it so now we made the messages map to each other and then the last but not least if you develop interfaces if you create your own integrations you need a process to systematically test them and when you've tested them you want to roll them out across the whole company and for this you need the services and the platform we have with sap ci cd so continuous integration and continuous deployment capabilities the full stack to make this integrate and deploy across uh, the landscape and with this those are the five things where you can perfectly start with to to understand to accelerate uh, the integration projects thanks christian and thanks for laying that out so well and so clearly so what are the main starting points here for people yeah the start so I'm a I'm a developer. I, I love technology. So the starting point is, of course, get your hands dirty. So uh, my my first idea would also always be go to the trial, use use those services, uh, use the platform, and it's very easy. Just do a, do an internet search, type in uh, the SAP Business Technology Platform trial, or I'm sure you share links as well uh, to make sure. Uh, and then it's it's a matter of two minutes. So you subscribe there for this contract and can use those services for free in the free tiers model. And if you then decide to use it productively, you can just turn the lever and then start with it in productive usage. Okay, great. Thanks so much, Christian. So we've gone over time, but I think it was such great information for people. So first of all, thank you so much for joining us today. It was a pleasure. Thanks so much for having me. And thanks to you for watching. We are prototyping this new learning format. We would love to know what you think. There are surveys that are linked from YouTube and from the blog. And be sure to check out uh, learning.sap.com for more and more learning offerings related to SAP BTP. There's a great learning journey on there about this topic called Developing with SAP Integration Suite. And finally, join us for our next episode when we talk with Raja Prasad Gupta, Solution Architect, and ask, what are the three security fundamentals that every developer must know when developing an SAP BTP app? Thanks again for watching and bye for now.